Uh, for mobile robots, uh, there are many application areas like industrial robots or service robots, uh, including the cleaning robots. Also includes autonomous driving. Uh, so the uh, core function would be the robot needs to know uh, where it is and how to move from point A to point B. Uh, my name is uh, Ming Liu. Uh, I'm from Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. I'm an assistant professor. I'm from the Department of Electronic and Computer Engineering. My lab is a robotics and multi-perception uh, lab. Uh, so my uh, robotic research, the main area is uh, robotic navigation for mobile robots. Actually, the navigation capability for mobile robots is uh, essential, it's, it's a key, it's a core capability of the robots. Uh, it basically means how the robot knows uh, where it is and how to move from one point to another point. We understand the learning process from two different aspects. Uh, the first aspect is the traditional way, that means it's mainly relying on the geometry and the optimization. Uh, if we talk about the SLAM problem, simultaneously localization and mapping, uh, this is this learning process happens uh, on, on the fly, uh, it happens in real time. Another way uh, we are also doing research in is a so-called learning-based uh, method, uh, especially with the deep learning or deep reinforcement learning, so that the robot can collect uh, experience while it's operating uh, during the lifetime of the robots. Uh, so in the future, actually more and more robots will be applied in industry and people's uh, daily life. So how the robot can safely co-work with people and how the robot can coexist with uh, the human society, um, the capability to navigate is, uh, is uh, still uh, essential.